Welcome to the seventh square in this granny square blanket. Today you will be doing soft clusters. For materials, we will take a basic size 4 yarn. I'm using the color linen from Premier Yarns, a 5 millimeter crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. To start, we will loosely chain 26. Once the chain is done, we will start with row 1. For row 1, single crochet in a second chain from hook. Then chain 1, skip the next chain, and then place a single crochet into the chain after the skipped chain and continue this down the row. Chain 1, skip a chain, then place a single crochet. Chain 1, skip a chain, then place a single crochet, all the way down the row. When you're done with the row, you should have 25 stitches. For row 2, we will chain 3 and turn. We will now work a cluster into the first chain 1 space. So yarn over, insert the hook into the chain 1 space, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into the chain one space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over into the space. Yarn over and pull through two. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. That is a cluster. The written instructions will also be down below in the description. Now you will chain one and in the next chain one space place another cluster. So I yarn over and I insert into the space, bring up a loop, pull through two, go back into the space, yarn over and pull through two, and again pull through two and then I have four loops on my hook. I yarn over and pull through all four loops. I chain one and I do another cluster into the next chain one space. You should have 12 clusters when the row is done. On the very last stitch of the row, you will place a double crochet into the last single crochet. What this is doing is creating a nice, even edge along the side of our square. I 
Again, you should have 12 clusters when this row is done. For row three, chain one and turn. Place a single crochet into the first double crochet, chain one. Now, single crochet in the next chain one space, which is between the clusters, chain one. And repeat this down the row. So, single crochets in between the clusters, chain one. When you get to the end stitch, place a single crochet into the top of the beginning chain three that we placed in row two. Row three is done. To make this square, you repeat rows two and three until the square is about seven inches. For the border, I would like to mention that I did finish on a row Three. So don't finish on a row two, but finish on a row three. For the edge, we will chain one, turn our work, place three single crochets into the corner. Now evenly space 25 single crochets across the edge. Repeat this around the square. So three single crochets into each corner and 25 evenly spaced single crochets around the edges. To connect the two the corners, we will simply slip stitch into the first chain one space. For the second round of the edge, we will chain one and then single crochet into the exact same spot. Then place three single crochets into the next spot. After this, place 27 evenly spaced single crochets along the edge. Repeat around the square, three single crochets into each corner and 27 single crochets along the edges. To finish, we will slip stitch into the very first chain one spot. Then I like to chain one, pull up a loop, quite a long loop, cut and remove the working yarn. And then I tighten that chain one. The front of your square is where you're beginning knot for your beginning chain is on the bottom left. You have just completed the soft cluster square. <laughs>